Hey now, that's not very. If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. Roast him! Who's the husband you're talking to? <laughs> that's your husband? Roast him! I figured you for a Yo, what's up, guys? Prince Charming. We're gonna be checking out some more Vivzy Pop cartoons, animations, pilot episodes on today's video. This is Hell of a Boss. This is new. It dropped yesterday, and I'm excited to watch it. I'm really excited to watch it because um, um, Has Been Hotel. Has Been Hotel was so lit. It was amazing. The choreography, the music, the animation, the art style, everything about Has Been Hotel was amazing. Vivzy Pop. Like, you did your thing with everything that you're doing. You're doing your thing right now. So, I'm already confident. I'm already positive that Hell of a Boss is going to be just as amazing, if not better, than has been Hotel. Don't forget to hit me up on my Twitter, at Prince of Hawkum, Instagram as well, at Prince of Hawkum. Let me know what you thought about Hell of a Boss. We're watching this entire thing, no, uh, splitting into parts. So let me know what you thought about this pilot, and also what you thought about has been Hotel, because we did finish that. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. Enough of me talking, let's go and check out some more Vivzy Pop. Hell of a Boss pilot episode, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Welcome to Imp City. Imp City, bitch. Imp City, bitch. Imp City, right, bitch. I know business has been a bit slow lately. Yes, it's no one's fault, okay? I'm not naming any names here, Moxie. Now, does anyone have <laughs> any bright ideas on how we can get business drumming up again? Name the name. What about a car wash? This is hell, Millie. No one cares about cars being clean here, okay? <laughs> Oh, what about a billboard? We can't afford a billboard, sir. Helpful, Moxie. Really glad you're in the room right now. Have you guys? <laughs> he does not like Moxie. Provide. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> what service do you provide? What are your jobs? Good times. I don't need any reminding, sir. Considering you blew most of our salaries on an obnoxious TV ad last week, one that you then additionally paid to have run for a full three hours on a channel wow. nobody watched. Wow. Uh, hey, excuse me. What's obnoxious about a super fun jingle? You wasted huh? your money. Fun <laughs> distraction when an advertisement spitting bullshit. People love musicals, sir. Exactly. They do love musicals. And we're basically doing a musical. Are you gonna crush my musical theater dreams like my dad did? Sir. Because right now, all I see is just my dad's asshole talking. <laughs> what is up with you and your dad? Of being who I he has daddy inside. issues. <laughs> you try to crush his dreams, Moxie. I. Moxie, nobody likes you. I can't believe you, Moxie, after I made you employee of the month. <laughs> okay, sir. I'm sorry. A commercial jingle is not comparable to musical theater. Nobody actually likes the jingles. I liked it. Do not, do not agree with him. In yeah, me. don't. Uh, what, what do you call it? Enable I'm him. The O is silent, and I am the founder of IMP. Are you a piece of shit who got yourself sent to hell, or are you an innocent soul who got fucked over by someone else? <laughs> After lovingly killing Some guy my who wife, hired us. talking to delivery man. You can imagine my surprise when I wound up here. After the state of Ohio killed me, oh. I really wish I could stick it to that yappy jogger who saw me hiding the body. Okay, okay, this this pilot, this pilot is snapping. I'm already gonna call it now. This is this is ten out of ten. This is eleven out of ten, bro. This is hilarious. Good plot, <laughs> and wow, this really made me think. Because if you heard what he said, he got sent to hell because. He caught his wife in bed with the the delivery dude. I'm pretty sure he said, and he killed the delivery dude. And then he got caught burying the body. In the state of Ohio gave him the death sentence and all that. And that's why he ended up in hell because of murder. Yes, you should go to hell. I'm not saying that you should be in heaven. Like, there's no reason why you should kill somebody. That's never the option. However, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't know. There's no gray line. There's no gray line. You can never. You can't do that. You can't take a life and be okay. It's just not okay. That's, that's not okay. I'm sorry, but unless you're like in immediate danger, I don't think it'll ever be okay. Can y'all agree with that? Well, luckily for you, thanks to our company's special access to the living world, we can help oh. you take care of your unfinished business by taking out anyone who screwed you over when you were alive. Y'all can go to the living world. Okay, I like that. And I will make it look like suicide. The immediate murder professionals. Oh, we do all kinds of things. Hold up! What is <laughs> Yo, this pilot is lit! Oh, what a stat! It didn't do anything! 
What are y'all doing to this boy? <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> I guess it worked. Shit, it actually worked. It worked. <laughs> and y'all are just in the living world, just like that. In stable condition, but he'll need surgery. Now, what insurance provider do you freaks have? The fuck is insurance? <laughs> Kids die for free. Holy! I'd like to go on record and say that incident was Luna's fault. <laughs> Dispatch is supposed to give us the right info on the target. It's very simple. Oh, sit on a dick, Moxie. <laughs> you sit! Sit on a... And the... On what? Do your job! <laughs> hey, now we don't blame our screw-ups on Luna, okay? He didn't do anything Ooh, wrong. We like Luna. Are you kidding me, sir? He loving Luna. Awful. Mm. Oh, she looks awful. Hello, INP. She's terrible. The adoption anniversary, oh. Looney. I got you a little something. Is it a cure for syphilis? I. Does she have syphilis? Then I don't want it. Ew! You have syphilis. Ugh. Sorry, fighters. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so why why is she working here? Like, why did you hire her? There's probably other more worthy applicants who could have got this job other than her. Like. She's the worst receptionist I've ever seen, but she looked like she got that that fire in her spirit. So maybe that's what he saw in her. So their jobs are to essentially take like orders from clients who have like something, some sort of revenge or some sort of action they want to do in the living world because they can go back to the living world and then they carry out that mission for that client. So for example, the guy who caught his um, wife sleeping with the delivery dude let's say he didn't manage to kill the delivery dude or his wife or both doesn't matter he could go to these imp city people these people who you know just made this commercial and essentially hire them so they can go back to the living world and kill the delivery driver or his wife for him so that's what i'm getting from their job let me know if i'm right uh, excuse me did you just fax me a oh it's it's charlie has been hotel why, why why would anyone send me this Come on, you know why. Whoever left the buggy avocado salad in the fridge, I'm taking it because I have the worst hangover right now. You don't take people's food? Why did you drink on a work night? I'm hungover from this morning, dumbass. From Is this morning? Food? You know what? I can't take this assault right now. It's five o'clock somewhere. I need somewhere. to blow off some fucking steam. Yeah, you, you probably need to fire this girl. She kicking babies? I Lit, <laughs> that Kenny Rich asshole is on the phone, says it's urgent, wants to oh talk to you. Gosh. He sounds a little DTF y. Oh, God, it was one time! If I hadn't slept with that privileged asshole, none of us would have access to the living world. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Who did you sleep with, bro? Buck, not the book. Not this fucking heavy book. Okay, he got a book. Uh, oh, oh, shit! And that book really is heavy. Sorry, I fucked your husband. Okay. Oh, what can I do you for this time, Stone? Oh, Fliss. He's a political candidate causing trouble up on Earth for a few of my associates. He's trying to convince people global warming exists. Doesn't it? Yeah. Well, yes. Global warming exists. People die if nothing is done about it. And it gets lonely here. Aw. Okay, well, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you know what happens when I'm lonely, Blitzy? Uh. Fucking damn. So he when wants lonely, to create global I warming. I become hungry. And when I become hungry, I want to choke on that red <laughs> of yours. <laughs> your and lick all of your <laughs> before taking out your <laughs> and <laughs> with more teeth until you're screaming <laughs> like a fucking baby. Hold up! What? Yeah, break that phone. Don't. Oh my. Eat this. And then you know that <laughs> on the freeway? Yeah? Shit off it. Look, the point is, Luna is a valued member of our Yo, that was and crazy. Get rid of family. <laughs> we aren't a family, sir. You are the boss. We are the employees. You treat her like she's some troubled teenager. She's more like a meth addicted homeless woman you let man the phone. Honestly, that is offensive. <laughs> Without home, Moxie's I right. I wouldn't have half the joy and laughter I do in this life. Money helps. Wow. <laughs> I was gonna say that last While part. While we're on the subject of family, <laughs> can you stop finding me and Millie outside of work? Come on, sweetie, it's not that big a deal. Sweetie? What? 
Honey, can you get me the butter? Oh, they married! Spoiler alert! The butter's spoiled! <laughs> What's funny, honey? Really impressive wordplay. What the? <laughs> Why are you in our front? <laughs> okay, so this boss has like an issue with like overstepping his boundaries. You do not want to follow your employees back to their home. Like, what? <laughs> All I know is that when I go off of work, I didn't want to see any of my bosses. I don't want to. I barely wanted to see my employees. Like, you know, maybe the cute ones, maybe the cool ones. But for the most part, did not want to do anything with my bosses at all. Like when I get off work, I'm a whole different person. I was a whole different uh, 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 homo sapien. <laughs> I was not the employee that you have grown to love and care for. I am Prince Charming, the savage. You best learn to respect me. You see me at Walmart, you best learn that I'm not your uh, employee. You can't talk to me anyway because I am out of employee, I'm out of business bound, so I'm not uh, working for you. <laughs> At least Moxie got a wife, though, so not everybody hates him. And this boss really is overstepping his boundaries. What, about? what is? I was dreaming my parents were being murdered, but now I'd like to go back to that. Of all the imps in hell, it's for him that I fell. Oh, oh, they found love. Are you fucking filming us and right now? He's recorded. Just stop doing it. <laughs> I don't see what the issue is. Is there something you don't want me seeing? No. You a baby wiener have her? Sir, what you say and how you act is totally Some people are growers. Some people are showers. I have another panic attack. I am calm. He's not calm. <laughs> Look, I don't judge the boring couple stuff you do outside work hours, so don't judge me. Oh, I do judge you, sir. Quite a lot, actually. Mox, he's our boss. No, 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 it's fine, Mills. Your husband is just, how do I say this without being offensive? Retarded. Oh! Does immaturely insulting me make you feel better about your sad single life? It actually does. The only reason you have a wife is because you're easy to manage. No, he's not, you bitch! Oh. Talk to my receptionist that way. She's sensitive. They just—they're just snapping at each other. This is a toxic environment. Oh, shut up, kid. You're lucky to witness this. And the, uh, the kid's this still here. Is such a mess. <laughs> All right, let's get back to talking about my outfit. Nobody was talking about that. Which is why I'm trying to get that ball rolling. So how does it look? It's good, right? <laughs> it's been a literal hell having to pretend to be paralyzed so you fuck shits wouldn't kill me. But now I want that. I want death. Oh, wow. Or a selfish, greedy clown. Uh-huh. I'm a kid. Yeah. You're supposed to like clowns. Yeah. the creepy ones. Hey, now. That's not very. If I wanted to hear from a spineless jackass, I'd rip out your spine and ask you some shit. Roast him! That's you're talking to. <laughs> <laughs> That's your husband? Roast him! I figured you for a slut. Roast him! I didn't know you needed dick that bad. <laughs> and you. What? What about me? Nothing. I don't talk to dogs. I'm a cat person. Oh, she's gonna snap. Wow. She's... Oh, you know, kid, you kind of oh, are okay. a piece of shit. I thought she was gonna snap. He is good. Oh, fuck. Guys, I just got a text from our client. Guess he was the right target after all. So they're gonna they're gonna kill a kid. <laughs> well, I can see why. Like this this kid was just roasting him. He has a big mouth. If I was in the scenario, man, I would have faked being dead the whole time. The kid had the right idea from the start, bro. This would be scary. I would not want to be in the scenario, but you know, he just had to go roast him. He had to go just grill it to them. He had to let them know what was on his mind. What did who who ordered the hit on this kid? Like <laughs> who in hell? wanted this kid gone like bro kid who did you piss off like i need to know who you made angry in the before life because goodness gracious you're a kid you, how mad can you get at a kid to the point that you send demons after him after you already died to get your revenge like wow who him me yep they wanted us to kill an actual child yep that's what they're saying that's what they're saying well christ on a stick i guess there is a god <laughs> And he's done for. You know, folks, with this company, wow. I really wanted to prove that we're capable of doing the same oh. things anyone else can. Oh, wow. By killing people. So from us here at the Immediate Murder Professionals Group, we promise to settle your unfinished business or your money is gone and you're never getting it back and you can write us a bad review, but we'll play dumb to it because it's hell and no one fucking cares. <laughs> you know, even though this kid was a target, he was still a child. It's important. We handle this going forward respectfully. Okay, what's I gonna do? If anyone has seen my little Eddie, please contact us and fall! You're welcome! 
Oh my goodness! When the crimson starts to spill, and my Millie goes in for the kill. Yo! <laughs> that was a finished video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Oh my goodness, that pilot episode! <laughs> Amazing! Hell of a boss. Wow, that was amazing. They returned the body of the child. Did y'all see the mom's drawing? And then the news uh, headline was like, the mom sucks at drawing. <laughs> but they returned the kid's body to the mom. That's that's that, that's so sad. That's so terrible. Who wanted this kid dead, bro? Who who went after this kid? But no, I'm loving Hell of a Boss. I love Has Been Hotel, and I'm loving Hell of a Boss. Man, Vizzy, Vizzy Pop... You on it, bro. You in your bag. She said, I'm finna snap with two animations. <laughs> Is she finna get a, give us a third low-key? But don't forget to hit me up on my Twitter at Prince of Hawk on Instagram as well, at Prince of Hawk and let me know what you thought of Hell of a Boss. If you liked it as well, because you already know I loved it. I think it was amazing. So let me know if you thought it was amazing. My name is Prince of Hawk. I'm Stay Charred, my friends.